Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Spice. Today I'm going to show you the top 10 most accessed websites and phone apps in 2020. As you all may know, we are now living in a world wherein a lot of people are always on their phone, especially in the past few months, you know, when we are all stuck in our homes, self-isolating, quarantining, in a lockdown and state of emergency because of COVID-19. And it affected our lifestyles and habits in a major way. So since we're all staying at home, we spend most of our times on our phone. So now I'm going to show you the top 10 most accessed websites and phone apps in 2020. First on the list is Google. Well, even before COVID started, a lot of people have been using Google, just like me. You know, for any information that we need to know, anything under the sun, anything that we want to find out and research. But when COVID started, it actually triggered a lot of people to go on Google and research about the signs and symptoms and what could actually happen to you if you get it. And just like personally myself, I did search on Google what the symptoms are because sometimes you feel like you might have it, but not really. So you want to make sure that you research and find out really if you have it. And I think it's also because you're scared to tell people, like you might probably have some of the symptoms, but you don't really have the sickness. So you'd, you would rather research on Google and not tell anybody. Next is Facebook. It is the world's most popular social networking website and application. I think everybody has Facebook. In the past few months, Facebook has become one of the platforms where you can get updates and news about COVID-19 and what has been happening around the world. And plus, people were stuck at home, so what they mostly do all day is go on Facebook and scroll, scroll, scroll. A lot of people also relied on Facebook because that's where they get their updates and information about what's happening to their friends and loved ones and relatives around the world and wherever they are and wherever you are. You know, they use that platform to, you know, check on them, see what's happening, what they're doing, what's keeping them busy all day and in the past few months. Third on my list is YouTube. A lot of people are now on YouTube. They like to watch a lot of videos, tutorials, music videos, and etc. And also a lot of people have created their own YouTube channel, so they keep themselves busy by uploading videos and you know just creating content for everybody. And some people try to learn new skills by just watching videos on YouTube like cooking, baking, DIY crafts, and etc. There's actually a lot of information and helpful videos that you will find on YouTube. Fourth on my list is Amazon and other online shopping apps. So a lot of people have been doing online shopping lately. It's because the malls were closed. You can't go outside because of lockdown and because of social distancing. So people relied a lot on online shopping. It's just convenient, right? Because you get to shop while in your pajamas still and you're still in bed or just laying in couch and not really getting tired of walking around to places and just really at the comfort of your home. And in the past few months, you don't just shop for your clothes, furniture, shoes, and accessories, but you also shop online for your food and grocery items. Very convenient. Fifth on my list is Netflix. A lot of people in the world have been watching shows on Netflix, including myself. I like to watch shows every day. I think I've finished a lot of shows in se different seasons already and a lot of movies too. Number six is Twitter. Just like Facebook, it has become one of the platforms where people can get news and updates on what's happening around the world. Number seven is Instagram. I know that a lot of people have been using this application even before COVID started, but there's also one way for them to see what's happening to the people or to the artists or favorite celebrities that they're following and see what they've been doing and how are they surviving COVID-19 pandemic. Number eight is Zoom. It's just one of the many video conferencing tools that a lot of people are using right now, especially to those who are working from home. It is also one of the tools that people use to connect with family and friends that are away from home. Number nine is Messenger. It's one of the most used messaging apps that people are using right now because it's free, you can chat and message anybody, and you can video call as well. And lastly, number 10, TikTok. A lot of people have enjoyed being on TikTok from dancing to acting, singing, DIY crafts and other stuff. They just love being on TikTok. They enjoy it. And you know, people go on TikTok if they're done with all the chores and other things that they do to keep themselves busy. So if they run out of ideas, they go to TikTok. So those are the top 10 most accessed websites and apps in 2020. If you're gonna ask me how many apps or websites have been used so far, mm, I think I've used all of them. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Well, what else are you gonna do? You gotta keep yourself busy. You can't just be stuck and doing nothing at home, right? 
So what about you guys? What websites and applications have you been accessing lately? Let me know your answers in the comment box below. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did, please hit the like button below and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please follow me on Instagram, it's Spice and Mocha. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Bye!